Alright, welcome guys. This is Subi Fly. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of diff different on uh, tech today and it's more of a how to. Uh, a couple days ago, um, or actually last week, end of last week, I think Thursday, uh, my laptop died. Uh, this is a 2012 MacBook Air. Died on Thursday. Uh, couldn't find their drive, so it's pretty much dead. It was the SSD, so I picked one of these guys up. It's from o OWC. Uh, originally had a 128. Now it's going to be a 240. And these are a little pricey, about $300. Um, these are the only ones that I know that would work properly without without any issues. I just got the the SSD and not the full kit. So and I went to go get um, through Amazon, Amazon and get one of those five five point um, torque for this guy. So uh, this was cost me like five dollars uh, versus the twenty dollars. Twenty dollars if you were to get the kit through them. Um, so and I got this in a few days. So I'm gonna go do it. Gonna uh, you know, quick walk through and uh, getting this removed. Um, this is pretty much nothing you need. Actually, you, did, you do need another part once you get internally. So, um, otherwise, you just turn it around and start unscrewing. Now, make sure when you guys buy these ones online, um, one, one of the important ones is that don't get anything cheap or bad reviews. I got, I found that these were pretty decent reviews. When you guys are removing this, you got to be a little bit careful. Um, when you're unscrewing. You try not to force it um, because they can easily be stripped. Now if you get like a a very cheap kind of um, uh, five point star, um, I've read really bad uh, reviews where they got stripped and and they, have to, they ended up having to go buy, buy another one. So kind of keep the pressure down to make sure you don't get any like, not not too hard, but enough um, pressure. Because if you if you if you if you don't put enough pressure, what's going to happen is that uh, these get stripped as well as your screw. And if you get one of those cheaper ones, uh, you'd be out of luck, and you're going to have to order another one. When you guys unscrew it and you kind of kind of spread out so you don't put more pressure on one side over the other. So these are the long ones, so I want to make sure that I remember that. Now I'm limited in space, but what I normally do is I put the screws where they belong, but I don't have that space right now. So far, the rest of the other screws are all the same size so that's what I'm scared about you gonna strip them make sure yeah it's a little bit but not too bad and then uh, my suggestion is kind of lift from the back so you get a little bit more putting usually you get a little bit of tiny spatulas and it should just pop out. Here it is. Um, it's a little dirty. Maybe I should clean that up a little bit. Um, let me put that aside. Alright, the next step would be to remove this this guy right here um, to get your screw. Uh, this screw. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is the SSD right here. This guy. And also, you're going to make sure you touch metal. So right now, I'm, I'm grounded, so you want to make sure. Okay, all, so it looks like this guy's a six star, six point star. Um, I'm going to go grab one of those. Um, so you need a five point and a six, six point star. All right, I'm going to put this video in post. I really made this one a little difficult to open. So let's see, once I open this, make sure yourself is grounded. So it's just a matter of lifting it up and wiggling it out, and it's right there. 
So for some reason this had stopped working so hopefully it's the drive not the actual controller itself. So let's find out. So right when you get that open, um, just make sure you pull it out um, and insert it the way it's supposed to. And looks like it's this way. And it fits perfect. Then you just put the screw back on. Where it belongs. And again, if it's your first time doing this, just make sure that you're actually grounded. Kind of firm, not too tight. And then you just put the back cover back on. So. Probably a perfect opportunity to get it cleaned out. Yep, make sure it's all flushed all the way around. Dust. Yeah. Screws will actually keep this um, tight in, put them back where it belongs. These other tiny ones are actually kind of scattered everywhere. Taking your five point um, screwdriver or torque screw. Make sure you keep it firm. Make sure you don't do too loose because you want to make sure it's not, um, in, I mean, make it firm, hold on to it firm. Press down on it firmly because you don't want it to loosen up. Or else you're going to strip it. I would also suggest getting some sort of magnetic for your screws, something like this, to prevent them from sliding around and losing them. Because usually, if it's the first time you unscrew it, they're getting pretty, pretty tight. So you gotta put a little bit more force for it to actually open, which is usually where you'd end up stripping the screws. Is doing that process. turn around so hopefully it picks up that drive because when it failed that's what happened well anyway have a good one guys and i'll see you guys in the next one